we shall now take a look at the first looping statement in C. This is called as the while statement or the while iteration statement. It is a very simple statement. So the best way to understand is to do a code flow or a code trace through an example. Suppose I have a variable i is equal to 10. And what I am doing is I am initializing i to 10. After that, i will be increased by 20 every time as long as the value of i is less than or equal to 100. So this i is assigned i plus 20 is known as the body of the loop. So the first time what is going to happen is i is 10 and I'm going to ask the question is i less than or equal to 100. Since this is true, I am increasing i by 20. So from 10, i has now become 30. So in the next step, what I am going to do here is I am again comparing is the value of i 30 is less than or equal to 100. So this is still true. Then what is going to happen is i is going to be increased by 20 again. So i becomes 50. Next time I am going to compare is 50 less than or equal to 100. So i is 50, 50 is less than or equal to 100 is true. So again I am going to increase the value of i by 20, i becomes 70. Then I am going to come to next step. Is i still less than or equal to 100? 70 is still less than or equal to 100 is true. So what I am going to do is I am going to increase i by 20 again. i now becomes 90. So I am again going to ask the question is i less than or equal to 100. Now 90 is still less than or equal to 100 so the condition is true. So i now is increased from 90 to plus 20 it becomes 110. Now when I come and ask the question is 110 less than or equal to 100 this is going to fail. That's when it will not do this statement i is assigned i plus 20 it will come out of the loop. So this should hopefully give you a clear idea of what a loop is. It will test the condition first it will do the increase. Again it will test the condition do the increase. As long as the value of i is less than or equal to 100 it will keep repeating that particular process. Now what we shall do is in order to actually see how a while loop is used I shall talk to you about a pseudocode. So in this pseudocode what I am doing is I am asking a user to enter some numbers. So the user may tell me he is interested to enter 10 numbers, 20 numbers or so on. And then as the user finishes entering the 10 numbers, I am going to print the sum of those 10 numbers and the average. So straight away I need one variable called as sum which I initialize it to 0. Okay. And another variable I can have mean or I can not have that mean variable. Then I have a variable called as count equal to 0. I will tell you why I am using this count. Then I have a variable called as maximum number which tells me how many numbers the user is going to enter. Number is the input number each time a user is going to enter hopefully a different number. So the first step what I do is I ask the user enter how many numbers he wants to enter. Say the user says I want to enter 5 numbers. So count is 0. 0 is less than 5. So I am going to read the number. Take the number and add it to sum. Okay, I am going to add it to sum every time. I am increasing the count by 1. This particular process is going to repeat till I have completed reading 5 numbers. The minute I read 5 numbers, this condition 5 is not less than 5. The loop comes here. So sum is going to be whatever is the value of sum. And then I am going to show mean is sum upon count. So this is an example of a while statement using pseudo code. Now what I am going to do here is I am going to try to run a C program and do the same thing so you are able to understand the concept pretty much very clearly. So here what I am doing here is here I have declared a variable number of the type float and sum also of the type float. The reason being user may enter a real number and sum then is going to be a real number. Count has the same meaning as in this particular flowchart. Then I have maximum numbers to tell me how many numbers the user is going to enter. So first thing what I do is I read how many numbers the user is going to enter. Then 0 is less than say whatever is the maximum number. I am reading the first number and what I am doing is I am adding the old value of sum which is 0 to that number. 
Then I'm increasing the count by 1. Next time count say becomes 1. 1 is less than maximum number. Then I'm reading the second number. Then whatever was the old value of sum, I'm adding the value of number to it. Then I'm again increasing the count. This particular body of the loop will keep getting executed as long as count is less than the total number of numbers the user wants to enter. Finally, when the user is done entering numbers, it is going to print sum is sum and finally mean or the average is going to print as sum upon count. Now a few things you need to really understand about the while loop. So when you're using the while loop, you need to take care of a couple of things. First thing is you need to be sure you have initialized count to zero. If you forget to initialize count to zero, this condition, we are not sure what it is. Sometimes it may be some random number greater than max num, then it will never go into the loop. Or if it is a negative number, then it may end up going infinitely or extra number of times. Always check the condition. Then this body of the loop depends on the value of count getting changed. So here I have increased count by one. Suppose I forget to increase the value of count. This is going to be something called as an infinite loop. That means this body is never going to stop executing. It will keep adding and adding for ever. Now, anything between this flower brace is known as a compound statement or a block of statements. So all these three statements are associated with the while loop. So these three statements are going to get executed each and every time this condition happens to be true. Alright. So just these are the basic things you need to keep track of when you are using a while loop. Just to rephrase, while is a very basic and a simple and very very frequently used loop in C programming. The job of a loop is to repeat a set of statements again and again. So it will keep doing this set of statements again and again as long as this boolean expression is true. So before executing it even the first time, it will first check whether count is less than max num. Only if this condition is true, then it will execute this. Otherwise, it will not execute even single time. Now, it will stop executing this loop when this particular condition becomes false. Now, some of the common mistakes which students tend to make when writing a while loop is you forget to put this in a block. Now I'll tell you what I mean by that. Let's say I have got a, suppose I did something different here. Let's take the same statement. I said while count less than max num. Okay. And I do something like this. I just say scanf percentage f address of num. Okay. And then I have the other two statements, which is sum is sum plus number and count is plus plus. That means I'm increasing count by one. Since I've forgotten to put the flower brace, only the scanf will get associated with the while. These two statements have got no connection with the while. The only way to see that they got a connection is put flower brace like this. That means this compound statement, entire compound statement is associated with the while loop. So this is something very commonly made mistake. Then do not put a semicolon after the while statement. If you put the semicolon after the while, the semicolon gets connected to the while and this will get into an infinite endless loop. Again, if you forget to put this value of count by one, increase the count by one, this is again going to be an infinite loop. So these are the sum of the fundamental things you need to keep in track when you're writing a loop. So the message here is as long as the condition boolean expression is true, keep doing this block of statements again and again. The minute it becomes false, it comes out.